Beerus is flying back to his planet when he senses a super high power level. Oh, Whis, what is that power I sense? I don't know, my lord. Would you like to go check it out? Sure. Maybe I could get some fun out of a good battle. Beerus and Whis fly off into the distance. After a few minutes, Beerus lands on a random red planet where he sees Thanos on his throne and Darkseid approaching. Do you really think you stand a chance against me? Beerus walks up. All right, if you're going to fight, allow me to join. So be it. Thanos puts on his Infinity Gauntlet and hops off his throne. The three stare at one another for a few seconds. Darkseid runs up and punches Thanos, sending him sliding back. Darkseid shoots his Omega Beams at Thanos. The Omega Beams fly at Thanos, who redirects them with his gauntlet. Beerus flies up and kicks Darkseid towards Thanos, who punches him into the ground. Thanos looks at Beerus, who promptly yawns. You dare yawn at the Mad Titan himself? What is a Titan to a god? Beerus creates an atom-shaped orb of key and kicks it at Thanos. Thanos goes to knock it away, but is unable and gets hit. You are wasting my time. Darkseid gets up and shoots his Omega Beam at Thanos, who slows time and dodges it. Your pathetic attempts truly amaze me, mortals, but you cannot win. Thanos laughs maniacally as the Omega Beam flies, <laughs> flies back and, hits, uh, and strikes him in the back. Thanos gets badly damaged. Not bad. You're next, rodent. Beerus stands there as Darkseid runs up and goes for a punch. Beerus kicks his head, sending him flying back. Beerus quickly flies up to Thanos and looks over at Darkseid. Thanos launches a cosmic blast at Darkseid. Darkseid dodges and tries to use an anti-life equation to control Thanos, but he can't seem to gain control. Darkseid runs up and backhands Thanos into a large rock formation and walks up and looks at him. It's dangerous to play God. Darkseid's, uh, Darkseid's eyes glow as he charges up an Omega Beam, but is stopped by a sudden bright light as Thanos and Darkseid look up to see Beerus holding a large burning sphere of key. Beerus throws it down at them, and Thanos slows down time and moves out of the way. Darkseid is barely able to move out of the way, but gets badly, uh, pretty badly hit. Beerus appears behind him and chops Darkseid in the neck, knocking him out. Beerus looks at Thanos. Beerus creates multiple atom-shaped key blasts and kicks them at Thanos. Thanos starts dodging Beerus's... Uh, as Beerus appears in front of Thanos and puts his hand out. DESTROY! Thanos vanishes from existence. Darkseid gets up and shoots his Omega Beams at Beerus, who redirects them at Darkseid, who redirects them into the ground. Darkseid, in a last-ditch effort, tries to take over Beerus' mind, but is unable to. Beerus launches a small, atom-shaped key blast at Darkseid. Darkseid tries to block it, but is barely able to. Beerus shoots a small at, uh, beam from his fingers, expanding the blast, causing it to explode, killing Darkseid. Aw, I hope I was hoping for a challenge. Beerus takes off to meet back up with Whis at his home planet. All right, our winner is Beerus, and Thanos takes second place, and with and you know Darkseid takes third. I guess you could kind of guess that from the battle, but I'll go over why. So strength wise goes to Thanos with his hyper hyperversal strength. Uh, and thanks to him being, uh, and this is all thanks to him being on par with the Living Tribunal, whereas Beerus is only multiversal level and being stronger than Goku and Super, uh, and Darkseid is also multi-universal, being stronger than Darkseid. However, Beerus's uh, destroy puts him at about the same level with his destroy technique, because you know it pretty much negates all durability. It's crazy. Speed, they are all tied-ish with massively faster than light feats. Uh, against Goku, Superman, and Silver Surfer, but if I had to give a slight edge, I'd say give it to Beerus, who can keep up with Goku who has instant transmission. So it's a slight edge in Beerus's favor, but not by much. Durability, Thanos takes once again with his hyperversal hyper feats due to his fight with the Living Tribunal and being able to absorb him. Beerus is in second by able to take hits from Goku and other crazy beings, and Darkseid is in third, only being slightly above, uh, slightly under Beerus, who takes hit from Superman. Uh, stamina, Thanos and Darkseid have near infinite stamina, making them a tie, whereas Beerus is kind of behind them in stamina. And intelligence goes to Darkseid with his crazy battle plans, but Beerus uh, is just about tied with him with his years of combat training, and Thanos takes last with his tendency to get pissed off and not think during battle. So, if Beerus has next to no edges unless you got the small speed edge, why does he beat Thanos and Darkseid? Well, it all comes down to their unfair and cheap weapons, powers, and hacks. Darkseid has the anti-life occasion, which, from my research, allows him to control other living beings, while Beerus is resistant to mind control, uh, as we saw when Mira tried to take control but couldn't seem to do so. And she's pretty good at doing that. And then, well, Thanos has the mind gems, so really, and all his reality warp and whatnot, so really, Darkseid's anti-life equation can't do anything to him. It just negates it. Uh, Thanos has the Infinity Gauntlet, which 
he does use, but he's very rarely uses the powerful gems, such as the reality gem and space gem. So, and he's also told himself to subconsciously lose battles before, so why would it be any different here where he wouldn't hold back and all that? And Darkseid also has the disadvantage of wanting to hold back most of his power as well. Beerus has his unblockable key blast attack, and the sphere of destruction used to casually destroy planets effortlessly. And most, uh, most importantly, he has the destroy ability, which erases his opponent from existence in all timelines. And Beerus can redirect attacks, so Thanos isn't going to get any energy attacks in, and Beerus' Omega Beams wouldn't be able to hit Beerus. So even uh, Darkseid's Omega Beams that put them in the infinite death loop, he could just redirect easily. So altogether, thanks to Beerus' skills of redirection, his destroy technique, and altogether his less obvious weaknesses that aren't subconscious things that screw over the other people, Beerus takes the win. Next time on Combo Breaker! But everyone on Earth will live. But you will suffer. Doctor Strange versus Voldemort.